Hi everyone, this is Becca with Basics by Becca, and in today's video, we're going to cover how to achieve personal freedom. The pursuit of personal freedom is a never-ending journey. There are many different ways that people can achieve personal freedom, and it doesn't always have to be about escaping from society or living on the edge. Personal freedom can also come from finding happiness in your life, being able to do what you love for a job, or not having any financial burden. So let's explore a few different ways on how you can achieve personal freedom yourself. The first way is stop waiting for the perfect time to start. I'm sure we've all experienced this at one point or another, saying you would start working on your goals next week or when the weather turns warmer, etc. The perfect time is now. Waiting for something external to happen before you take personal responsibility and make changes in your life does not lead to personal freedom. It leads to regret. Another way is to live on your own terms. Being able to do what you want when you want is the ultimate personal freedom. It is all about living on your own terms and not having to worry about what other people think or say. You get the opportunity to do what you want in a way that makes sense for you. Whether it's quitting your job because you aren't happy there anymore, telling someone how they made you feel when they did something wrong, or coming home from work at noon every day so that going out your, with your friends could be an option. Personal freedom means doing whatever feels right for you without worrying about anybody else's opinion. Another way is to pursue personal goals and dreams through passions and hobbies. So personal freedom comes from the ability to pursue personal goals and dreams outside of a traditional career where you work for someone else every day. If there is something in life that makes you happy, whether it's painting, cooking, or playing an instrument, set goals around your hobbies and passion and work on them on the weekends or in the evenings. This will give you more opportunities to live how you want. Another way is to create financial stability through side hustles and passive income. So I'm a big fan of side hustles and passive income as well. And personal freedom also comes from financial stability. This might mean saving up money for a rainy day, reducing your debt, or reassessing future expenses. Financial freedom and stability can be achieved through side hustles or creating passive income streams like investing in the stock market or creating your own company. You can even work on personal projects that will eventually become profitable, which would allow you to live without worrying how much is in your bank account each day. The more security you feel in regard to personal finances, the less worried you will be about other aspects of life. Another tip that I have for you today is to find a community of people who share your passions, hobbies, or values. You can find a community of like-minded people online or offline. There are member groups for just about anything from plant enthusiasts to gamers to vegans. For example, someone involved in the blogging world might find a sense of community by joining an online group that shares their interest in writing content related to personal development and creativity. A vegan chef could grow their confidence through attending cooking classes at a local co-op or through sharing culinary tips on social media with other members who also value this type of diet. Being part of a community helps us to meet our need of connecting with others through a topic that interests us. Now, number six is to get involved in community development projects that make you feel fulfilled on a personal level. There are many small scale ways to feel fulfillment through helping others. You can volunteer at your local soup kitchen, lead a neighborhood cleanup project, or help tutor students on Saturdays. These projects can be both fulfilling and rewarding because we feel like our efforts make a difference in other people's lives while also strengthening connections with the community around us. And the last tip I have for you today is to identify your priorities. We all have personal priorities that we want to achieve in life. 
These can include personal financial goals, well-being of family members or friends, personal ambitions, and career aspirations. Clarify on your personal priorities is an important step towards achieving personal freedom because it allows you to focus your time on the things that really matter most. Clarifying what matters makes it easier to either evaluate new opportunities for more income or set aside less desirable projects so that they don't distract you from more pressing matters at hand. So I want to leave you with a few thoughts today. And that is, what are you waiting for? Start living your life the way you want to today. You deserve it. Remember that there are um, some tips that will make more sense to you than others or can be incorporated into your lifestyle and perhaps others can't, and that's okay. You have the opportunity and the right to foster your own definition of personal freedom. So thank you for tuning in today to this video and subscribe for more videos similar to this one.